What's up folks? Yes, my audio probably sucks right now because I'm not using this thingy. I'm recording this directly to an iPad. So I hope you will hear the difference when I switch back to this mic. So let's make this quick, right? So you don't have to suffer hearing me in this strange way. Let's just look at the mic first so I can start using it again. This is the mic itself. Uh, yeah, sorry about the box. There's no box, I threw it away a long time ago. So no box for you today, nothing to unbox. It's already unboxed. Okay, so this is a small mic called Boya BYMM1 as you can see on the instructions that are included. This is the mic, it comes with this little mount so you can put it on your camera, it has a camera mount. You can use it with, uh, like for example, use it with a Canon, but I guess you can use also something else. You have the uh, jack plug on the rear side of it and that's pretty much all there is to it. So I won't torture you anymore with this terrible sound. I'm gonna switch this mic on and we'll continue in a minute. Okay guys, so where did we leave the things? I changed to the Boya microphone. And I hope you can hear the difference in the usage of a microphone like this. So let's go through the contents of the box. As you saw before, this is a sort of a dead cat uh, clone. Uh, it really helps when you're outside in the wind. Um, so I'm not using it right now because there's no wind in here. You get uh, two pairs of cables one for the smartphones and the other one for uh, recording cameras a little pouch so you can store the, the the mic inside and all the cables and that's pretty much all there is to it fairly simple and as you probably saw there's a similar microphone from Rode Old video micro or something and it's really similar to the size and everything of this little mic uh, I didn't mention before <clears throat> the microphone construction is uh, full metallic so it's a metal housing so I'm guessing it should be durable I didn't really use it outside that much so I can give you any feedback on its durability it uh, stays mostly here on my desk so I didn't take it to the field if you go really quickly through instructions you can see the pattern here of the microphone so it picks up the sound mostly in front of it so if you're in a you know, noisy situation, you get much clearer out of it. So it doesn't pick up the surrounding noise like you previously saw on the iPad. It picks up much more of the ambient also noise. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. I hope you seen how you can improve your sound of videos very simply. This is a very cheap microphone even I was considering road but for what I use it I didn't really see the you know point of making a much more expensive purchase than this little entry-level mic for what I use it it's very simple you can also use some kind of lavalier mics but it again depends on what you like I like to be more of a hands-free guy and I don't like to have too much cables around me and 
this is very much a nice solution that regards of course you can buy always something more expensive and uh, of course it will perform better most probably but for this case I'm really happy with this one so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video like it and please subscribe if you haven't I'm trying to grow this little channel thank you for your support and hopefully I'll see you in the next video okay so I'm back on the iPad recording sorry for that but I just wanted to show you a few more things as you can see the mic itself is so simple no batteries no power nothing you just plug it in plug the other end to your camera or your phone and you're good to go so you can forget about problems like uh, you know turning on the mic or then you have a whole recording without sound I saw some other mics that have you know battery powered amplification and I'm not too sure that's a great thing I usually forget to power it on and so so that can be a problem I like this one because it's so simple you don't need to mess about you know just plug it in plug it in and you're good to go so that's another plus against some other microphones uh, I do have uh, you know one minus the mount itself is not that great you know if you slightly bump the mic it's gonna pick up on the microphone so yeah the mount could be a little bit better I don't like that but okay since it's almost stationary in my case uh, I don't have a problem with it I tried moving around and it really picks up noise if you try to bump it or so and as I said before this is uh, metal housing and uh, yeah I hope it's gonna last for some time again like I said this is very a cheap alternative if you wanna bump up your audio of course there are different products on the market in the same price range I think this was around 25 or so US dollars uh, 